Imagine for a moment being told that your child, whether through problems at birth or illness or an accident, might not live to see adulthood or certainly won't live the life that you'd hoped for, you'd expected, you'd dreamed of. And having to deal with those feelings and emotions on a daily basis whilst coping with the added financial, social and practical pressures on you and your family, it must be immense. Sadly, for thousands of families in the UK, that's a reality they face on a daily basis. But the story doesn't have to end there. Because since opening its doors in 2003, Haven House has been offering care and support to hundreds of families in North, East and Central London and here in Essex. And today we're going to find out why these very special children and their families call Haven House home. She has Otahara syndrome, which is global brain damage and severe epilepsy. And she's also got limited lifespan. She has cerebral palsy. She's quadriplegic, so she can't use her arms and her legs. And she's lovely. You're constantly working, 24 hours a day. And when Tia comes to Haven House, it's like a break. You've got peace of mind. I know when she's here, I don't have to worry. There's junior buddies and we get to go to the seaside, we get to go to David Lloyd Leisure Centre, which is good where we can play sports and, um, yeah, it's just like a day out and it gives mum a break from us. <laughs> Getting Tia to come to Haven House, it's a respite for her and also for the rest of the family. She gets to do lovely things, go walk through the garden, sensory room, they spoil them rotten. I don't have to ring up and say, how's Tia? Because I know once she's here, she's looked after and I can be at ease. Diana's condition, he's got cerebral palsy and also he's quadriplegic. Having a place like Haven House is a lifeline. They're like an extended family to us. Diana's been coming here for seven years now. He's eight and um, it gives us the break that we need and we know that he absolutely loves coming here because he has the best time ever. Whether daycare, short breaks or therapeutic play, there's always loads going on here at Haven House. Music therapy is all about using kind of structured musical play together with parent and child. When a child uses their voice and plays and the music therapist responds in a very matching way, something is triggered inside that child that makes them think, I've been heard, I've been understood. His mood really changes when he hears music. He sort of stops and he listens and he sort of dances to music and he just, he can be in a tired or grumpy or miserable and then he can hear music and he can just stop and change and listen. Thomas was a surviving twin and he had um, twin to twin transfusion syndrome which has left him with no speech. He's fed by a gastrostomy tube and um, cortical visual impairment. We've eased into a lot of his problems and, and literally four, four years ago he developed epilepsy. For Thomas it's, it's life, life threatening and that, that's been the biggest sort of thing for us to deal with. You have your good days and then you have other days where it's just too overwhelming. You know, and friends say, how do you cope? Well, probably because of the support I get from here, quite frankly. There are no certainties with Thomas, but Haven House is certain. It's here for us and um, it's just knowing that is such a strength and comfort. The house is his home and you know he, he'll run around all the rooms, he'll explore every door and he's just Thomas. They did some fundraising for the Century Room recently and of course you know Thomas loves it in there, he loves the lights, he loves the sounds, he loves the, just loves the environment really. So this is one of the bedrooms yeah. at Haven House. How many are there? There are five bedrooms in total. They've obviously all got a profile in bed so it can raise in different positions depending on what position the child needs. And they've all got DVDs and TVs in their rooms. Um, and just the normal things that make up a child's bedroom up really. So lots of toys. Oh my. This is 
the butterfly suite. Now the reality of a, uh, a hospice like Haven House is that the children being treated here have life limiting illnesses, many of them do. So sadly there are times when they will pass away. And when they have, this is where the child will be brought. It's a climate controlled room and the parents get a chance, a final chance, to really spend some time with the children and say goodbye. And, and Lauren, in your experience, what's the reaction the parents have from having this suite available to them? I think it's just a relief that they've got somewhere that they can spend those last few days with their child and, it, and it's peaceful and there's no, there's no rushing about, there's no tubes, there's nothing. It's just them and their child having those last few moments together. There is nothing more precious than a child. And there's nothing more fulfilling than seeing that child smile, or hearing them laugh, or helping them learn. And that's exactly what the nurses and the staff here at Haven House do on a daily basis. Sadly for Diamo's family, for Tia, and for Thomas's family, life is never going to be simple. What is important is they get to make the most of every single moment they have together. And that's exactly what Haven House allows them to do. Can you put a price on a child's happiness? I doubt it, but can you ensure they get the best opportunity they possibly can? Every time you help Haven House, that's exactly what you're doing. This is a very special place for some very special children, and with your help and support, it can carry on being just that.